Hey guys, Mike Macklin with another episode of Workout 101 on WorkoutTrainer.com right here at Total Body Fitness Gym in Oak Park, California. Back extensions. We've gone over back extensions using the back extension bench right here. Okay, you can, a lot of different things you can do with that. Primarily, a lot of people do back extensions on that machine. What happens if you don't have that machine? Well, you got some other options you can do. One of the things I like doing is doing back extensions on the ball for a number of different reasons. So I'm gonna explain the exercise, talk to you guys a little bit about the reasons why it's more beneficial in some cases and how you can actually execute it with right technique. Because if you guys don't understand right technique, none of these movements and all the success that you're gonna see in the gym just goes out the window, okay? Technique matters. I work out with different people all the time. People ask me to train. Sure, they jump in their technique sucks and then I actually spend the entire session trying to teach them right technique so the next time they ask me to train I'm not wasting my time. Alright guys, so back extensions. First things first, got a stability ball. If you don't have a wall to put your feet up against, that's okay. You're just going to have a little bit more of an unstable surface. But what you want to do is lay on the ball to where your chest comes off of the ball. All right. The reason why is because you want to allow that flexion in your back. If your chest is too far forward, you can't hunch over the ball. So you want to where your belly button is the primary point of contact with the ball. You can place your hands on your head out in front. I like placing my hands out by my side. But what you're doing is you're just coming down here like a normal back extension and then coming up and squeezing. You're not gonna be able to lift up as high because you don't have anything on your heels to use as leverage to lift you up off of the ball, which is actually okay because you get more of a, of a, of a contraction in your lower erectors, which this exercise is for. So as you come down here, keep your spine neutral. You do not want your head up when you're doing this movement. You want your spine to be neutral, which means your head stays straight. It's not tucked in, it's not looking up here. Keep your head neutral. As you come down, lower down, and come up just to an extension. And back, just to an extension. It's also important, the reason why I like having my hands up here is because it allows my shoulders to retract, okay? You don't want your shoulders hunched over here. You want everything in your back to come together. That means your shoulder blades come up, which means those rhomboids are working, okay? Also your traps to kind of pull your shoulder blades and hold your shoulders up. And as you come down here, bend over at the ball, come up, extend, hold, extend, hold, extend and hold. The reason why I like using the ball on this is because the instability of the ball, unlike doing it on a bench, means that you actually have more muscles working. I can do this on the bench, of course, and I have more flexion and extension, but what happens is, is because your feet are against the platform here, and because of the amount of range of motion that you have, a lot of times when you bend over far, you're actually using your glutes and your hammies to assist in that movement, which in a lot of cases, depending on how you understand the technique, you can actually turn a simple back extension into a movement to where you're actually targeting and emphasizing your glutes and your hammies. But on this particular movement using the ball, there's virtually no glute or ham involvement because I don't have the base to push against my legs back, which hold me upright. Right here, it's all back. I'm not feeling this at all in my glutes or in my hamstrings. It's all back, okay? So, so back extension using the stability ball. If you guys want to download a workout program that I designed that utilizes this exercise and many others, log in. We actually have workout programs, guys, for people who only have access to just a ball, just dumbbells, bands only, all types of workout programs that are structured based on your goals written by myself. If you guys have any questions, you can ask me on Facebook, or in the trainer section, if you click up, there's a community tab up above. You guys can click on the community tab, click on the trainer section, ask me any question, and I advise you to join our community so you guys can actually create your own workout programs just as I do and share them with your friends and family. Until next time, guys, this is Mike McElwain with another episode of Workout 101 on WorkoutTrainer.com. Take care.